Are you wondering how much this new paper roll plugin gonna cost? Well, it's hundred dollars. Nah, I'm just kidding. It's free. So my LMX paper roll plugin, which is my first plugin that I have ever made. And currently it has more than 3000 downloads. So I thought a version 3 would be cool. And here it is. So in this version, you first of all get the bending angle by using which you can change the angle where the rolling comes from. So now it will roll from this direction. Then we have the lens slider, which is the most requested feature in this plugin. So now if you want the animation to be let's say 2 seconds long, then you can just type 2 here. Now the animation will take 2 seconds to complete. And on the topic of the animation, if I take the Im a new image and drop the previous version, the version 1 and 2, then you can see it doesn't have the animation. And that's because there's a bug in DaVinci Resolve version 20. So if I open this effect on the fusion tab, here you can see it has these random values. This supposed to be 0 because every composition starts with 0 but here's a random value. So the keyframes that I have on this effect are way far at that direction. If I open the spline panel, so here are my keyframes, but my playhead is here. So, so much far. That's why the effect wasn't working. And the fix is very simple. All you have to do is make a cut and take the second clip and override the first clip. And once you do that, you can see the effect starts working again. But honestly, it's annoying to do it over and over again. So that's why I figured out a fix and in the new version, it automatically adjusts the keyframes. So you don't have this problem. So the next is this mirror. So at the beginning, you have this animation. If you want to have the same animation at the end, then you can just click on mirror and you will have the same inverted animation at the end. Next is the solid back. So you see the flip side of this image is white. From here I can change the color to anything else. But if you don't want a solid back, you can just untick it and it will have the same image flipped on the other side. It will look like something like this. If any edge was cut off, you can use this scale slider to scale it down a little bit. And then you have the normal position controls and size and angle, the usual things. And at the end, finally, we have the lighting. So if you click on lighting, it will give you the spotlight, which we had before. From here, you can adjust the brightness. But there you can see there's another light I have added, which is direct light. So if you select this one, this one looks way better. Uh, for example, here's without lights, here's with light. And you can adjust the lighting from these sliders. So you can make it more bright or slide it left and right or change the angle. And you can also keyframe this to get a different look. So yeah, now you can use this effect for free. You can download it from my Patreon. And by the way, this uh, plugin is also available with my Let Me Animate version 2 with all these plugins. So you have this 3D look, this paper roll plugin, the 3D parallax effect, which I showed you in my last video. This Let Me Slide plugin, which will animate any type of slide animation. Just drag and drop it. And from here, you can select how you want the slide. And there's also this Let Me Zoom plugin, which will have a zoom. But the best part is if you click on preview, it will show you how much it's going to zoom. So if I shrink it down to zoom on this area and just turn off the preview, now if I play, it will zoom into that area. It's very handy when are you doing this type of map animations. And also you get this impact on, which will have this type of impact zoom in. And also uh, you get this floating effect throughout the animation. Yeah, and there are a lot of other plugins as well. This is the main plugin, LM Animate, Let Me Animate version 2. You can click on this video on the right to learn more about this plugin. And I will see you in the next video.